Oh, yeah, what's going on, guys? Um, the uh, NVIDIA Shield just got a uh, new update today. Update 3.0, which is Marshmallow, essentially. Um, just going through a couple things real quick. Let's see. Let's go in some of the release notes for it. Um, a lot of cool things for it, seemingly. I didn't hit the button wrong. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's Marshmallow. Um, they're basically going to have a different background from what I can see. Um, as you can see there, background from the home screen, uh, redesigned Play Store. We got the customized the recommendations, so you can basically reorder the apps on the uh, tile screen. Um, it turns your SD card and or USB storage into encrypted internal storage for your apps and games. Uh, let's see. Set up new shield without typing. Just say, okay, Google, set up my device. Ah, that's pretty cool. Um, got some new features here. Uh, the menu by holding the back button, the power menu, that's pretty cool. That, that'll that make it a little more convenient as far as uh, putting it to sleep, you know, on demand kind of a thing. Uh, we got wireless support for the controllers um, when charging via, via the USB port. Not a big thing there. Um, surround sound headset. Yeah, I don't really use mine for portable, but if you do, you know, that might work better for, you know, like like they said in the Netflix app. Um, got some options for video, whatnot. Um, I don't have a den and receiver, so that really doesn't make a difference as far as the support for that. Uh, let's see. Optimization for some new apps and games. Here's the apps there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of good apps there. HBO Go, for instance. Uh, Showtime Anytime. And some games. Uh, GeForce Now games. I um, haven't really checked out many of the GeForce games, or the hub games for that matter. Um, that's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and install this update here. Um, it's about 800 megs uh, full download. So it takes not too long depending on your connection. So let's go ahead and restart this thing. But yeah, the, the NVIDIA Shield is just a really good system um, from what I've seen. And, and the main thing is the, the hyperspin support for me. Um, hyperspin's just badass because, I mean, it's it's like an all-in-one for your old systems. And I do have all the old systems, um, as you can see there. Got the GameCube, Atari, got your Xbox, Dreamcast, uh, the Sega with the 32X down there. Um got your SNES here, 64, obviously the Xbox and the Shield uh, with the uh, the hard drive adapter so I can hook up my drive for hyperspin and we got the Wii, the NES and the remotes and just the receiver there so this thing is resetting now looks like it's just installing This is kind of a two for a video also because it's the first time really checking out the camera. Um, I just got the uh, OnePlus 2 um, phone and I, I dig it. It's quick. Um, and they just had a recent change of price um, down to $349, so, which was cool. So anybody within 15 days of ordering it got a refund automatically, which is pretty cool. You won't see that a whole lot. So... Um, let's see. Let's just see if we can pause this and come back to it. All right. Well, it just finished up. So uh, now that we're in here, we'll just kind of look around. It looks obviously the background's changed here. Let's go check out the um, Play Store. See if that looks any different from previously. 
Uh, it seems about the same, if we're being honest. Uh, Cody update. That's nice. Alright, so um, let's just load up Hyperspin. I did ups update that as well. Um, as far as the intro, stuff like that. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so let's jump into that. But for those of you that don't know about Hyperspin, it basically it allows you to emulate all the old uh, older systems. Um, it does take a little setup, um, but most of it comes preset. Obviously, you're gonna have to get the ROMs. But yeah, very very cool intro. Um, and as you've seen in my previous video, you know, the, nothing on here has really changed. I'm still working on some of the systems, mainly the Turbo Graphics uh, CD. Um, I did get a little more updated on the, the PlayStation. Um, not a fan of this Contra. Um, just played that the other day. It's, uh, yeah, not great. So. A lot of these, you know, you gotta get the videos and stuff like that, but they're really good sites for that. I will put them in the description. Um, as far as getting the, you know, layouts, videos, the wheel art, all this stuff. Um, but really cool in the end. It does take a little work, but it's, in my opinion, well worth it. Um, so yeah, we'll jump out of there. But yeah, let's see if this, uh, the back button thing works. It does not. There it goes. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Oh, power off feature. All right, that's cool. Uh, sleep now, restart. Um. So yeah. Uh, appreciate you watching the video. Uh, leave comments if you have any questions. And uh, like I said, thanks for watching.